Well, welcome to Florida for Funshine. It's a windy day here in Miami, and one of the things that I always say, if you can't go fishing, maintain your boat. One of the items that I think that it's important uh, to change uh, frequently, or at least every one or two years, are the low pressure fuel pumps. I think it should be part of the maintenance of any boat. The low pressure fuel pumps are located behind the VST, and here they are very inexpensive to change and simple and we're going to teach you today okay you have three hex bolts um, that can be removed with a 10 millimeter uh, ratchet one on the bottom and two on top once this is removed the vst will come down and we'll be able to get to the two fuel pumps that are right behind it there's one at the bottom and then right above it you have the other pump that's what we're going to be replacing today so let's go ahead and remove the vst just to get easier access to those pumps here we go okay you have three hex bolts um, that can be removed with a 10 millimeter uh, ratchet one on the bottom and two on top once this is removed the vst will come down and we'll be able to get to the two fuel pumps that are right behind it. There's one at the bottom and then right above it, you have the other pump. That's what we're going to be replacing today. So let's go ahead and remove the VST just to get easier access to those pumps. Here we go. Okay, the goal here in the next steps is to try to remove, snap out, whatever it takes uh, to make room to move the VST pump out of the way. So your project may differ on what you want to remove or what you're going to remove, but the ultimate goal is to get a clear access uh, to the fuel pump. So you may need to snap out some um, clips, you may need to remove a hose here and there that will be up to you and what is going to accommodate your access to the fuel pumps here we go Alrighty, so here we go. The VST is removed. Um, I put it on the side and here are the two pumps that we are going to be replacing today. So we're halfway there guys, so hang in with me. We'll get this done. Okay, the pumps each have five screws, three Phillips and two hex. You remove the two hex and that will release the pump from the body of your motor they're pretty long screws and there's a gasket that's right behind them that you need to um, replace also that's my recommendation uh, gaskets are very cheap there they are they have two holes for the um, screws and then the middle hole is where the motor uh, works with the pump to get the fuel there so we're removing them now and here we go they're pretty long screws so one of them is already out and then I'll get to the top one uh, as soon as I'm done with this one and we'll move forward here we go okay and now to the top one I didn't mention that is a 10 millimeter socket that I, that I'm using to remove now the uh, top um, here we go okay and the second one is out remember you will be disconnecting some gas lines so just put some paper towels to catch that gasoline now I'm gonna be replacing these pumps with new ones uh, from Yamaha original um, there may be some that 
may want to rebuild them you can actually get the diaphragm either online or any marine parts store for the money uh, I felt that it was uh, worth the investment just of replacing new ones because by the time you factor in the diaphragm the gasket and so forth you're you know not too far away from buying uh, new pumps but I'll show you here the disassembly of the actual pump if you go to the route of um, rebuilding them or changing the diaphragm it's just the three Phillips screws that you remove and that will get you into the inside of the pump and inside you're going to find the diaphragm and you can go ahead and just replace that diaphragm if that's the route that you want uh, to take uh, either way it's a good choice I mean I'm not saying it's uh, not a good choice to rebuild them I basically chose uh, for myself just to re replace them uh, with new pumps so here it goes uh, this is the inside and once you take out the three Phillips screws you'll get in there and the first thing you'll find is the diaphragm right there so just make sure you put them in an order that way you know when you're gonna put it back together again this is the cover and then the diaphragm just pull it right out and uh, they can get really beat up you know from all the pulsating that goes on uh, but you can replace this um, and order it online so that's just for those that might want to um, go that route um, there's also some little uh, taps metal taps there which are the open and uh, close valve so I don't know if this helps anybody but I just thought it would be um, beneficial just to show how to take it apart in case you want to rebuild it well let's go ahead and um, put the new ones on So here they are this is the um, fuel pumps they um, like I said the price point for them uh, versus rebuilding them was not a too long of a stretch so I just decided to get them uh, new uh, with the gasket so let's go ahead and in install them and you'll see just the reverse of how you took them out is how you put them back in okay just like that the first pump uh, the top pump is um, already installed now I'm gonna work on the bottom one and sure enough same process the other pump the bottom pump now is on just getting it um, nice and uh, snug and tight pretty simple just the reverse process of what you did uh, to tear it down and to take it off Want to check everything? Okay, so you want to check everything, make sure that everything is uh, 
in good shape here. Well, just like that, this does it for this video. Ask you a solid, would you subscribe to the channel? Would you give me a thumbs up? Uh, we do have videos for that. We're going to be producing fishing videos, RV videos, but also whenever we have a repair, uh, we'll put it online or, or maintenance. That way we can help somebody. So if you subscribe, we will really appreciate it. Till next time, Florida for Funshine, out.